hi, and welcome to lesson two of our Network Plus series. The lesson two, we're gonna call the fundamentals of networking. But don't confuse this with the basics of networking. The reason why I'm calling this the fundamentals is because this lesson, this series of videos in lesson two, are going to help establish the foundations that we need to really, really, really understand in order to understand what else is going on here. So as tempting as it might be, especially if you have some computer background, don't skip lesson two. This again is going to set up the foundations that we need to have in order to understand this entire world of networking. So let's begin by first talking about what is a network and why do we even bother to network. The New Penguin Dictionary of Computing defines a network as any collection of entities connected together to form a coherent group. Basically what we're talking about here when we talk about a network is devices connected to other devices to increase the functionality to help us do more. What we're doing here is we're connecting two devices or more together to share resources. These resources can be anything from, let's say, increased storage space to maybe you want to share music, to share images, to share connections for video games. That's what we're talking about here. Networking is basically connecting devices together. Now, the term device is kind of a generic term. We can also use the term node, and we'll talk about terminology in the next video. What we're looking at is just simply things connected together to share resources. Of course, then the question has to become, why do we even bother doing this? What is the purpose of networking? Why do we network? And again, the answer to that one is to share resources. You can do more, usually in a network environment, than you can if you just have a standalone workstation, a standalone computer, or standalone any device. By networking, we're getting more out of our devices, getting more functionality out of our gadgets than we would if we just left them on their own, isolated in a corner. Some examples of networking, and this has increased over the years. When I first started teaching networking, it was more or less computer to computer, or computer to printer, or computer to server. Now we have convergence. Now we have everything getting on a network. We have, again, the old computer to computer or computer to printer. We now have smartphones to computers, smartphones to printers. You can link your tablets to your network. If you have an Xbox, you can link your tablet or your iPad to your Xbox and control your Xbox through your tablet. You can control your home through your tablet, through your computer. You can wire your home up to control your lights or to control your air conditioning or a security system pretty much if it's electronic you can almost pretty much wire it it's crazy how interconnected we're getting with our devices I mean I've even seen refrigerators that can become networked so this is our introduction to the fundamentals in the next video we're gonna start taking a look at the fundamental terms that we need to really understand to get the whole networking series down